Hi, I'm Dr. Shay Stark with Pro Chiropractic, and today I want to show a taping technique for tennis elbow, or medically known as lateral epicondylitis. Now, believe it or not, very few people actually have tennis elbow from playing tennis. It's just, that's what it's called. So what tennis elbow is, is usually an overuse injury to the wrist extensor muscles in the forearm that attach to the lateral epicondyle or the outside bone of the elbow. And so doing any sort of repetitive um, motions such as um, construction workers with hammers or screwdrivers or even people who type all day because your wrists are in that extended position can experience a lateral epicondylitis or a tennis elbow. So the taping technique that I wanna to show today really mimics the bracing that you see a lot of times when people have lateral epicondylitis. Now with bracing, we tend to not prefer that because the actual wearing of the bracing can weaken the muscles in the, in the forearm and make the issue worse over a longer period of time. So what we can do with the taping is we can actually allow a little bit of separation between the superficial skin and fascia to allow blood flow and fluid flow in through the muscles and still have that relieving quality of the brace. So how we're gonna do this here is we wanna make sure that we have dry, clean skin. So you can you know, use um, an emollient such as like a cryoderm or a biofreeze um, to allow the alcohol to dry off the skin. You wanna make sure there's no lotions there because the tape won't stick as well. So what we're gonna do here, using some uh, Perform Tech uh, tape here, we're just going to rip off the end and this is what's called your anchor. And so we'll just peel off the tape from the back and we'll place it here on the upper forearm. Just straighten that arm out for me, perfect. Here, and we wanna make sure that we're in line to cover that lateral epicondyle with this anchor piece of tape here. And so what we're doing is just laying that tape down. Go ahead and come forward for me. Laying that tape down with paper off tension so we're not having very much stretch into that tape and just laying it down into the forearm. And we wanna make sure that we're incorporating the lateral epicondyle is right here, okay? And so those muscles and the tendons are coming off that um, elbow right here underneath the tape. So we'll just heat up that adhesive to make sure that it sticks, okay? And then this is the piece of tape that's the most important. This is the piece of tape that will act more similarly to the brace. And so we're gonna fold that in half to get that middle crease here on the tape. And we'll just rip that right in half and peel back the paper on the back of the adhesive here. Make sure not to touch the adhesive on the tape because then it won't stick as well to the skin. It's kind of a one and done type situation with that adhesive. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stretch the tape 100% and then back off about 50% there. And we wanna lay, lay that down just below that lateral epicondyle of the elbow. So this is where the lateral epicondyle is, and then that tape lies just below that to act as that similar bracing uh, than what we would normally use here. And so we just lay the edges down without any tension whatsoever. You wanna make sure that you do that because if you lay the edges down with tension, it can cause irritation and blistering of the skin. And then so you kind of lay, heat up that adhesive here to lay that tape down. And then that is um, the taping technique we use here to uh, alleviate some of the pain and tenderness from lateral epicondylitis. If you have any questions about tennis elbow, go ahead and visit our website, www.prochiromt.com. Again, I'm Dr. Shea Stark. Thanks for watching.